Good afternoon, and on behalf of Telstra and the AANA, I welcome you all to the changing face of the CMO. How long are you going to live for as a CMO? You're more likely to live longer in an organisation today than you were six or seven years ago. And I believe that it's increasing for one simple reason. It is maybe one of the most complex jobs in the C-suite. I think now more than ever we're seeing a time when there's more noise and less signal. Deciphering what's really meaningful change is one of, I think, maybe the most important qualities of a CMO is to work out what's really going on out there. And one could ask oneself, is the CMO role actually an impossible job? When you look at 2011 research from IBM and the Economist Intelligence Service, you see a myriad of worries that CMOs have, from data explosion all the way to corporate transparency. If you look at a job spec for a CMO, it's so broad. You have to be an expert in SEO, SEM, display advertising, TV advertising, econometric modeling, as well as a brand expert. And I think the tension that exists beyond the complexity is probably best summed up in Anne Mukherjee. My challenge is to deliver unpredictable and remarkable marketing that delivers predictable results. Somebody described it as running too fast in a marathon without enough water. Not only do you need to be seen to be up on the new activities, big data, social media, etc., you also need to be seen to be actually executing in the new activities, often without a clear and coherent plan. The people who will do best are the individuals who feel more competent at navigating the more analytical, technical and complex environment that exists today. It's an environment where there are new skills that need to be mastered every day. Learning and developing oneself personally is just part of the job description. You have to be comfortable saying that you don't know. You have to be comfortable with ambiguity and you have to be comfortable with, with the fact that change is going to happen and it's going to happen in a major way. There seems to be a split between companies where responsibility for the product resides with the CMO and where the product resides with the CPO, the Chief Products Officer or the Chief Technology Officer. Branding is 90% substance. If the product isn't right, it really doesn't matter how brilliant you are with the remainder. So if there is a plea that I have for all of you in this room, it's to fight for the product. It's to make sure that the product is great. It's the most critical component in the marketing mix. Know the user, know the magic in the pro product, connect the two. Often, it is made to be much more complicated than that. And actually, at its essence, that's what marketing does when it does it brilliantly and it does it beautifully.